Well, hundreds of Oklahomans were able to put food on their table tonight thanks to a volunteer who works around the clock without pay to fill hungry tummies and hearts. News 4's Heather Holman takes us to Perkins for tonight's Pay It Forward. Every month, about 400 hungry mouths come from multiple towns. Agra, Kearney, um, Tryon, southern part of Stillwater. To Perkins First United Methodist Church, where one woman works tirelessly for free to feed them. She's selfless. She worries about everybody in this whole community besides herself. She is here almost any hour. She was here early this morning and she's not even supposed to be here today. Sauce for the spaghetti. And Deneen sandwich. Howard is talking about her lifelong friend, Maria Boyles, who leads donation-based Neighborhood Ministries, providing food and utility bill assistance to the neediest of Oklahomans. This is our food closet. From sunup to sundown, she's doing something for this, the, her church or for the food bank. We have apple juice. After 30 plus years at Ripley Public Schools, the retired librarian lives by the teachings of the good book. She follows Christ's recommendations that you should love your neighbor. You take care of who uh, needs taken care of. Which definitely earns Maria a Pay It Forward Award from First Fidelity <laughs> Bank's Sean Crandall. The spirit of community and neighbors helping each other is, is really one of the reasons why Oklahoma is such a great place to live, work, and raise a family. So on behalf of First Fidelity Bank and in partnership with Channel 4, we're delighted today to help pay it forward for this deserving nominee. And with the $400 in hand, Deneen and I are off to surprise Maria, who of course is at church. Because we love you and because you're such a treasure and you have changed so many lives and you helped so many lives, we figured out from librarian to life changer, we gotta get you a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is on behalf of First Fidelity Bank, and it's 100, 200, 300, 400. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is a blessing. I have more than what I need. Other volunteers help Maria collect and sort food from places like Dollar General, Panera Bread in Stillwater, the Regional Food Bank, and the USDA, among others. We move about 6,000 pounds a month. To help fill hundreds of bags with fresh produce, meats, breads, and snacks. We have like bread that's from Walmart and, and meat bags and different uh, donuts, <laughs> different things that get donated. Sometimes we help with utilities or with uh, gas to get to the doctor or and at the end of the year we usually help in the local pharmacy for prescriptions. Oh, so how many hours a week do you think you work? <laughs> oh my goodness, this week it was quite a few and this was my off week. <laughs> what do you get in return? Uh, a lot of love and a lot, I've made wonderful friends. And so this former school librarian tons of story times is now the main character in her own story the true tale of a heroine fulfilling her purpose by filling a need for hungry neighbors and for herself it's just the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life you know it's made it's changed my life heather holman oklahoma's news four neighborhood ministries could mm -hmm. always use donations you can call perkins first united methodist church if you'd like to help she's getting jewels in her crown no doubt and to receive bags of food financially qualified residents must first be approved